Order! Order! You are an incorrigible delinquent at times. <laughs> Behave yourself, man! Now, politicians have only been back at Westminster for a couple of weeks after their summer recess. And today they're off again as Parliament rises for the conference season. So where will MPs be heading over the next few weeks? Well, first stop will be the Lib Dems meeting in Bournemouth, where Sir Vince Cable will address the conference for the first time as leader. Jeremy Corbyn and the Labour Party are also taking a trip to the seaside with their conference taking place in Brighton. But any delegates hoping to hear from London Mayor Sadiq Khan or Greater Manchester Mayor Andy Burnham look set to be disappointed. Reports say they and a string of other shadow cabinet ministers will be left off the programme. Party rule changes are expected to feature on the agenda, including the so-called McDonnell Amendment, which would lower the threshold for candidates wishing to stand in future leadership elections. In Manchester, the Conservatives will be weighing up whether Theresa May can bounce back from her disappointing general election result. Former party chairman Sir Eric Pickles will present a report on the campaign and there are reports also that the Prime Minister may apologise as we were discussing for mistakes made when she addresses the party faithful. And people will also be keeping a beady eye out for any cabinet ministers positioning for a future leadership bid in their conference speeches. That's all we do at conferences. But that won't include former leadership contender Andrea Leadsom. The Commons leader hasn't been granted a platform speech. And don't forget the SNP, First Minister Nicola Sturgeon, will be addressing the Scottish National Party's gathering in Glasgow in the second week of October. Plaid Cymru. UKIP and the Greens will also be holding their conferences over the coming weeks. Well, we're joined now by Aisha Hazarika, who, as media advisor to Harriet Harman, attended many, many conferences. Did you used to like the conference season? I think it was like an endurance test, mm. really. It was sort of interesting and fun, but towards the end, everyone was like a human wreck. Yes, and looked it, really, at the end, didn't they? And actually, we all felt for the political journals, because you had to go to all of them. Yes, oh, loved them, all <laughs> equally, of course. What do you think we should be looking out for at these conferences? Well, I think, I mean, I agree with your sort of analysis. I think with the Liberal Democrats, Vince Cable is actually just going to be fighting to define himself a little bit and create some some, some space for the Liberal Democrats. They sort of, their, their kind of pro-anti-Brexit message didn't work for them in the general election. Labour is going to be incredibly interesting. This is going to be Jeremy Corbyn's victory um, conference. I mean, obviously, he didn't win the general mm. election, but he did much better than people think. The other thing that's interesting about Labour conference is last year it wasn't very well attended from business this year. It and is, MPs? Well, I think it depends on which side of the, the party mm. you're on. But I think quite a few MPs will be going. But I think conference will be busy. Lots of businesses coming to conference. I've just heard from the party that actually their conference space, their corporate space is selling particularly And that's well. because they obviously feel they do have to look at Jeremy Corbyn and the Labour Party as a potential future government now. Correct. Lots of lobbyists, lots mm. of people coming to have serious chats with the, the business forum, John McDonnell's team as well, because they're so dismayed with the Conservatives on Brexit. I think for the Conservative Party, Theresa May is going to have to do a bit of mea culpa to her rank and file about why the election campaign went as badly as it did. And she's going to have to try and reassert some kind of semblance of, of leadership. We, one feels she is, to quote George Osborne, sort of dead woman walking until mm. Brexit is Not over. Not the other quote, you mean? Not the other quote. Right. No. Um, one issue that has arisen, as we mentioned there, is why Sadiq Khan and Andy Burnham aren't being given platforms to speak. I mean, electorally, they've been very successful. I feel this is a mistake by the Labour leadership. And I think, you know, one of the things they will want to be doing is trying to sort of have as much unity as possible. Andy Burnham, particularly Sadiq Khan, are big figures in the Labour Party. And also devolution of power is a big part of the Labour message. So I hope they will revisit that decision and give them some space at conference. Oh, do you think there are um, sort of talks going on behind the scenes? Because they must be kicking up a fuss. Well, I mean, the Mayor I of London so. and, you know, 
Andy Burman, I mean, I spoke, to, I, mean I spoke to somebody quite senior in Corbyn's team last night and they were saying they were very keen to get a kind of a unity message out that the Labour Party has got big, serious figures. So if you take that logic, then it seems odd to not give Sadiq a platform. They're giving me a platform at conference, not on the Quite on the floor. right too, of but, course. You know, I think, you know, I think it's really important. They're important figures. And also, look, the, the thing for Corbyn, Corbyn doesn't need to pull out a rabbit from the hat. He doesn't need a shiny new policy because we've just had all of that from the manifesto, the general election. He needs to send out a message that he is a possibility to be the Prime Minister and that he can bring some unity to the party. What will you be doing when you uh, get up on the stage? I will, I'm doing something at the gala dinner. I'm going to host the gala dinner and there's a lot of corporates going and it's, it's sold out. So that's my little... I'm going to do a little turn. Are there. you? Yes. A little comedic turn. little comedic turn and sort of uh, raise morale. Oh, yeah, well, I'm sure you will. <laughs> um, what was it like preparing for conferences and leaders for conferences? Well, I, I managed to do it in some of the like worst years, obviously, of uh, the Conservative <laughs> Party. So yeah. some well done. Uh, and so some of them were, were pretty grim. Uh, although often you found that the grimmer they were at the beginning, uh, the more easy it was to present them as a triumph at the end. Because don't forget, everyone who comes to them is so convinced that they're right, um, that um, there's a sort of willing on of the party leadership. Uh, and at the end of the conference, everyone claims it's been a success, even if you haven't moved the dial at all. And of course, one of the things that is very hard to remember when you're at the conference, it's so absorbing, No, you know, and you come home, nobody saw anything. Yes. Um, and and <laughs> yeah. you, you get sucked into yeah, it so yeah. you think that they do but all that work and all that effort and as you say if you come back and you haven't moved the dial then surely it's been Some, you know sometimes it is more so it's interesting this question of the mayor so i think probably jeremy corbyn's office is trying to work out for itself uh, does it want sort of hegemony or does it want unity and it can't necessarily have both and so one of the things that happens at these party conferences is that through trial and error, you establish that for yourself. You, it's a learning process mm. for the leadership, almost more important, and for the membership, almost more than it is uh, a, 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 a thing that moves the dial outside. Right. We're going to go quickly full a circle to the top of the programme and go back to your boss's comments. I mean, you write a column in the Evening Standard. What did you make of what George Osborne said about Theresa May? Well, I mean, it's pretty obvious. George Osborne has got lots of beef um, with Theresa May, whether you want to see it chopped up and put in the freezer as another... Look, I think the, the, the language is probably not what I would have chosen, but he clearly... It looks like hell hath no fury like a, a Chancellor scorn. Well, it, it, indeed it seems. You better look out. I know. Sorry, George. Yeah. <laughs> well, enjoy conferences. Are you going? To the Conservatives, I will be, and I'll be definitely watching all the party conferences very carefully. I've been getting